Hi everyone, so today I'm going to explain to you how to create a simple survey that you can give your students or your parents to get information about a certain uh, thing or concern. So I'm going to use today Google Forms. So first, this is your account here on top. Beside that is like a, a nine dots here. You click that one and then go to drive. Once you're in the drive, as I've done in my previous videos, I always use the Google Drive as the starting point so you can see the power of the Google Drive. So go here. You now have Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, but for today, we want Google Forms. So you click more here go to google forms and then we can now start making our survey the survey is not only for parents or students with google accounts you can send them even to parents or students without google accounts so first we need to look at the basic things here let's say we want to title the form as let's say you want to do it per class so let's say but let's make it in general, let's say school survey for school year 2019-2020. So once you've typed your you've um, typed your title automatically, it this if you click the untitled form on top, it will automatically copy what you've titled your survey form. And it says here on top, all changes saved in Drive. So it, all of them, now all the changes you're making here will automatically be transferred or saved to your Drive. Now, let's say you don't want to use this. The, this whole thing now is a bit, the look of this is very boring. So you can have options to change them the way you want it. So here on top, we have different tools here. So first, this, this one here is used to customize the theme. This one is a preview of the document, like how the student or the parent will receive it, how it will look like, and this one is your settings. And then your, you have your send with, and your three dots here. We will talk about the rest later, but now let's just concentrate on customizing the theme. So let's say you don't want this color and you want like a header. So you have options here to just use the themes suggested by Google Forms, or you can upload from your own device. So you have a lot of options here. Now, in my case, I'm just using the themes from the classroom, and this is cool, so I'm going to choose this one. I think this, is, this looks nice. It looks like a book here. Okay, or you might change it to something else like this one. So that is now my header. See, it looks a bit fancy now. Uh, let's say you don't want the color so you can change it. You have lots of themes color here that you can use. So you want it dark blue and then you add, click the blue here. Sorry, use this uh, circle, small circle thing. Let's say you want the green one and add okay that looks so greeny anyway um if you, you can change your color the way you want doesn't really matter here so now you have the school survey you've had changed your header you've you have your theme color uh the form description you can just say uh, parent survey for online classes on uh, online classes this school year but this one is really optional you don't have to type the description of the form this is more than enough by the way we can press x here beside the theme options we press x so that we are go uh, we are back to our screen that we want now we can now start creating our questions so first we have the tools here again on the right side. You have the plus sign. You click that. Because this is a survey, we have to make sure that 
uh, you get you get the the details such as name or the name of the parent, name of the child. Okay, so first we write here parent's name. Okay, or let's say name of parent. So name of parent, that's the first question. Uh, automatically, the Google form will uh, tell you that or automatically suggest it's a short answer question. So parents will actually uh, type their names on it. So it will look like that now. So you have your name of parent. They have a short, under, uh, short answer text. Now... The next one for you, how do you make sure that parents actually answer this question and nobody skips it? So what you do is click here, required. Okay. Now, well, I just remembered now, it says here school survey. Maybe it's better if you actually write the name of the school. So let's say ABC school. Um ABC school survey for school year 2019, 2020. Okay, now you have the name of parent. The next one, go back to the tools again. Press here the plus sign. And then you can go to, you can type your next question. By the way, why, why is this going upwards? We can actually delete this one. Sorry. Okay, just press delete. So now you have name of parent. Just copy the other one. Okay, next we write name of student. So again, it is press required. So you now have the name of parent and the name of child. Next question. Let's say you want to know the year and section or class section of this child. So you can actually have options here for multiple choice. You say year one, year two, year three, okay, and so on and so forth until year 12. It's up to you. So this will easily help you how to, cat uh, to put them into categories. Like once you get responses from the survey, you can now put it, them into groups. Oh, these are the year one parents, the year two parents, year three parents, and so on and so forth. Now make sure you press again required so they won't skip the question. And then now you can proceed, press the plus here sign again. Proceed with the next question. You'll say how satisfied rate your satisfaction of the online resources provided by the school this year so here in the option if you notice the google forms once you type the word rate here as your first word it automatically gets the idea that you are you want a linear scale then you can label this as one perhaps not satisfied and this one is very satisfied or you can type poor and then excellent so it's really up to you press again required okay so then you can keep on adding more and more questions for the last one let's say i only want like two questions really so let's say i want to say um any comments or feedback please type below then they can use a paragraph form so if you notice the google forms will give you automatic up and like an automatic option of what to uh use as the way to answer for the students and parents. And then you press again here, required. Let's say you want to copy again this question. So you just press this two squares here that will duplicate the question. Or let's say you want to just throw this away, you don't like it, so press delete. 
Now we're done. Okay, but as I've said, you can create as many questions as you want. There's no limit to that. The next one is we've done already customizing the theme. We, if we click preview here, this will show you how the survey will look like in the eyes of the parent and or the yeah of the parent here. So it's very clean and simple. Parent survey on online classes this school year. That's like the instruction or the description. Then you have your name of parent, name of child, the year in the section, satisfaction, and then there's an option here to submit, right? So that is when we click the preview or this, this sign that looks like an eye here. In the settings, this is the one you have to look at. Do you want to collect the email addresses of parents? If you want, then click that. Do you want them to actually get notification if their response was successfully sent to you? So then you click response receipt. Okay. If they want it. So usually this is the default one. They have an option to get a uh, like a, res a notification that their response was submitted properly. And most parents obviously would want that. So click that one. Don't forget. Okay. I'll just do it again under the settings. General. Check. Collect email addresses. Check. Response receipts. And if respondent requested. Okay, that's the best thing. Uh, for this one, require sign in. If Please do not check the three boxes because we're doing a simple survey. If you click this limit to one response, it means that respondents need to require to sign into Google, which you don't want that to happen because some parents, maybe they don't have a Google account. So don't check that. Just this first two and then this one, if respondents request it, okay, then press save. Now you are good to go. The last thing you can do is, let's say you have... You want to make several copies. So you have options here to make a copy or you don't want the surveys anymore, so move to trash, okay? And other options here, let's say add collaborators. If you click this, it will add, you can add the email address of another teacher so that both of you can actually uh, you, um, prepare the survey, okay? So now it's time to send. There are different ways here to send. First, through email. So you can email the parents one by one, type their emails, email addresses here. That's one. Second, you can get the link. Click this one, shorten URL. If you click that, it will give you a shorter code and then copy. Once you've copied that, you can go directly to your uh, Google account. If you open this, you can open your email, your Gmail account, and then send it manually to your parents. So you can do something like, remember here what we do, we go to settings, sorry, we go to send, and then if you want to send it through email, you... Click this one, include form in email, and then you can type the email addresses here. All right. Or the other option is we got the link. Okay. We copy the link. And then once you've uh, pressed copy here, you go back to your email address or so your, your Gmail account. Press compose in the subject title here, control V. That is the link to the Google form. And then you can say, Dear parents, I hope you are having a good day. Please click the link below to answer uh, the survey. I'm just using my adult email address so that we see how it looks like. So once, then you say, thank you and have 
Thank you very much, Miss Marie. Let's see, that is your email. Subject, don't forget, parents survey. Then click send. Okay. Once you've clicked send, the, the, the email will look like this now. So this form is highlighted. They can just click that link and then they can sub, um, answer your survey. The other way to do that, so I hope that's clear. The other way to do that, aside from sending an email, is again, we go back to send and then you can use Facebook. Let's say you have uh, the school has a Facebook account and you just want to send a survey through Facebook and generate all the responses. So it will look like this, your, your, your Facebook account and then your survey is there. And they will just click that link and then they can start answering the survey. Okay, I hope that's clear. Thank you very much. So that is a, the, the, a simple way of creating a survey using Google Forms. Thank you.